Bicycles are a major type of transportation nowadays. In fact, there are more bikes in the world than cars. Bike sharing systems continue gaining worldwide popularity as they offer benefits on various levels, from society to environment. They are now present in many cities where cycling infrastructure is growing as a way of facilitating inner city trips. As of December 2016, roughly 1,000 cities worldwide have a bike sharing program. The users rent bikes from station docks, paying for a given amount of time. So, the operator wants to avoid empty stations with no bikes to be rented, as well as full stations where the user cannot return his bike if needed. The Montreal bike sharing system has 540 stations located mainly in downtown areas for a total of approximately 6,000 bikes. The daily volume of uh, 18,000 trips is considered high for a metropolitan bike sharing system. Given that those systems tend to be unbalanced along the time, bikes are typically redistributed throughout the day to better meet the demand. The rebalancing operations of the system are driven by inventory intervals in each station. These intervals define the desired inventory level for each of the stations. Thus, whenever a station exits its desired inventory interval, an alert is raised and the operator sends a truck to rebalance it. The station is then filled to its target value. These inventory intervals and target values are manually computed by the operator based on historical demand. We propose a quantitative method for defining inventory intervals in the stations using the learned traffic model. These results are expected to drive the operator's rebalancing operations in such a way that the number of lost rentals and returns is minimized. This figure shows how a model works. From historical demand and weather features, the traffic mean environments are estimated for each one of the stations. Our model uses dimensionality reduction to minimize the problem complexity. The original problem has to estimate 1080 variables, which is the number of rentals and departures at each one of the 540 stations. Our solution approach was able to effectively reduce the complexity of the prediction problem, reducing computing times and memory requirements, while increasing prediction accuracy. Based on these values, our model builds a statistical model that estimates the probability distribution of the number of trips at each station. This model is then used to design the inventory intervals that satisfy a minimum service level. The methodology is adjusted according to the service level desired by the service provider. We show in our paper that our intervals lose approximately 30% less trips on the test period of study for the same capacity of rebalancing operations of the service provider.